Hello, my friends. Welcome to the No Excuses Ladies Show. I am Eva Eckert and I am your host. Today is episode number 28. Super excited for this. So uh, for some of you will be this this is the first time that you're gonna be joining me today on the show. For some of you, um, some of you already been here. So welcome to the show. It's just a half an hour that you're gonna give me. So what is really the no excuses ladies weekly show? It's all about you guys out there, all of you ladies out there. However, I have guys joining me nowadays. Like I see Jeff is here. This is awesome. Who have been struggling with making too many excuses and find yourself being unhappy and unhealthy and unsuccessful in life. This is what the show is all about. It will show you and teach you how to apply the no excuses mindset in all areas of your life, including your health and your wellness, so you can succeed in life, move the needle forward with the necessary tools provided. No Excuses Tribe is welcoming all of you ladies out there who would become, would like to become a badass, even though you are not a badass yet, but I know that the foundation, that it's there, okay? I'm here to help you, support you, guide you, and lead you to your full potential. I will teach you the power of self-belief, self-motivation, discipline, mastermind alliance, so you can stop making excuses and create the life you truly desire and deserve. So by being the best version of you. So my friends, welcome to the show. First of all, I wanted to say thank you for showing up and giving me that half an hour of your time. Today is going to be a super, super, extremely great episode because I'm going to be revealing step by step such a vivid story of uh, Ivanka, what we did just recently, what she experienced. And I know that this will totally connect with you. I know that you can connect this, really this story to something that happened in your life. But before we're going to go ahead, uh, I am going to um, recap quickly what happened last week. That's what we always do. So last week we were talking about the self-awareness and it's another great episode. If you have missed on some of the episodes of the No Excuses Ladies, please join the YouTube video. I'm actually going live right now. You can join. I provide you with the links before and you can join me right now. Now, I would love for you to have a participation, just uh, really asking questions um, and maybe even sharing your story because that's that's what it's all about, right? Sharing your stories and maybe asking questions. So my question for you today, as I said, the show is interactive. Do you believe in yourself? Do you believe in yourself? Do you believe that you have, do you have to trust in yourself of the your own abilities to figure things out? This is very important, very deep questions. And we need to ask them, how is your reaction when you come across very difficult and hard situations? Do you just like freak out and being out of control, drop the stuff, don't finish, just move forward, forget about it? How is the reaction? What happens? Do you stick to the, do you try to dig the problem deeper and go forward? Are you really uh, have no patience and no self-control, uh, you just given up easy? Those are very important questions. You can even write them down. I always tell you, grab a pen and paper and take some notes because throughout different sessions as we go along, you your brain will dictate certain things to you. You might have like a really epiphany of something. You might have some great thought and just it's good to write it down, especially as we know how human brain works it can get quickly distracted if you don't don't work and don't really stay focused right so those are really the questions now i'm gonna start before we're gonna go into the main story uh it, it was extremely it was amazing story and i will give you a, a little um outline of uh, Ivanka is seven years old right and she's been uh, she's been for the past year and a half i would say she was she's been riding horses she absolutely has a love for horses and that's what we've been doing we've been taking uh, sessions and but she had a uh, she, she absolutely have a full love for it and, and she devotion and, and that's what she wants to do. But before I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to tell you that years ago, 
she started a, a, a soccer, right? She started soccer games and we went a few times and I was like really cheering her up and she go for it, even though she was very, uh, I would say, mm, uh, she was she was very shy. She didn't want to join. She didn't want to do anything with the soccer game. So eventually she grabbed that ball and start rolling like a pro, really kicking that ball. And she strikes some goal. And my reaction was like really cheerful. And she looked at me and she took the ball. She walked away from the field. Okay. She literally said, I will not play again. And then I was thinking like, I probably went overboard with my reaction. That was one thing. Uh, she's more quiet. She she doesn't need that loudness like I sometimes get. And I just have to encourage her a different way. So here we go in a situation that she absolutely loves. She still loves soccer, but she never stepped her foot back again on the field. So here we go doing the uh, doing the uh, the horse horseback riding, right? And. I see an information there is upcoming show that they will host a show that will be all different levels and then she will have a chance to participate. Now, hello. Now I I know how how this was important for me, but knowing her reaction, I thought if I'm going to let her know in advance what's going on, this might not end too well for her in a way like she will not participate. She will just not do it because that's not what she wants. She wants, she doesn't want to be in a spotlight. She doesn't want people looking at her and things like that. And by the way, I was actually asking her, would, we do it? would she do an interview with me? Because I wanted her to tell this story. I really wanted her, but she said no. So maybe one day she will be able to say to you exactly uh, word for word, everything what was going through her head. Uh, so I figured, okay, I'm going to sign her up and we just going to treat this session as a regular session, especially that I was told that this is not going to be extremely overwhelming because those are very young kids. There are six and five year old that they will not be putting so much pressure on them to not to get not them not 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 letting them to be discouraged right so it was just like walk and very very easy very easy steps and that's where Ivanka is she she goes into walk and and try and very simple very easy nothing complicated yet so we showed up and we were looking at the jumpers ahead of time kind of to like ease ourselves but then she sees that we coming to a table and I am signing her up and she's getting a number. So she's asking me, what is it? Like, what are we doing here today? And I say, well, it's going to be a session because it was a session. It's just, you're gonna get a number and you might get a trophy, you might get all the other things. Her first reaction was, I will not do that. There is, people are here, I don't want that. And so I had a conversation with her, I said, look, this is going to be just regular session. It's going to be only a few riders, like it's always there with you. That will be a coach, and there will be nothing else but you just on a horse. And she figured, she fought, she looked. Somebody, uh, the, the signing table gave her a participation trophy. So she was like, okay, okay, I can do this. So she got the number and we had a little time to hang out and look at the jumpers and it was just nice time before she started, right? So uh, they are they are starting announced that her group and she was in a third group. She started in a third group and she gets her horse. We go into the field. She's the first one to go to, into the arena. There's a couple of our, our other riders. One is a little bit two were older and the other one was the same age. So, and she tells me, mom, somebody told me that this horse that I'm on, it's not good for shows. And I said, Ivanka, this is somebody else's opinion. I said, let's just tune into the horse. You connect to the horse. As we know, if you guys are riders, 
you know how it's important to really understand the horse, tune into the horse. This is an animal. You're riding on an animal. You have to know how to control it in a way, right, in a sense. But then also it's all about connection, how you make the connection with the animal. Uh, so I said, look, I'm sure it's going to be great. Uh, we've heard a lot of stories. This, the horse is great. And this was just the second time on that particular horse. But again, let's take to consideration she's been riding for an hour every week. So she wasn't new to riding a horse. It was just new to this horse. Right? So I, I, I gave her a little pep talk. We, well, she's fine. Uh, they do the walk. Uh, they announce the different, uh, different things that they have to do. And then... Uh, the show is quickly over because it takes only a few minutes because they have a lot of writers to do that. And they start going into the announcement section, right? So um, the jury goes and gives the announcement. And then they say, a number five, the fifth place, gets uh, Francis, Francis on a chip. And it was Ivanka. Ivanka was on the chip. That was the horse's name. And I'm like, that's not her name. So right there was a signal, but they gave her the ribbon, right? They gave her the ribbon. And at the same time, I guess the, the, the jury realizes that something is really not good. So she kind of turns around at the same spot, the same moment as this happens. As Ivanka is holding the ribbon, the horse is taken off. The horse is going into the gallop. Guys, my heart stopped like literally went into my throat and i said oh my god i even i have a short recording that i posted on instagram i cut the words that was no it was just a short video everything took place for a few seconds but it felt like a lifetime this horse was just going chaotic with her her holding the stirrups and holding that ribbon and and everybody screaming drop the ribbon drop the ribbon and she didn't hear that okay it was too loud she didn't hear that she was totally going wild on that horse seven year old never went into a gallop never went into a crazy run on a horse it was just basic le lessons i don't know how she did it my friends but she stopped the horse she eventually dropped the ribbon and she didn't fall off the horse she didn't fall off the horse. So look, the story is not over. She's sitting on the horse. The ribbon is on the ground. The horse is calm. It took another few minutes. They announced correct, correct places because she didn't take a fifth place. She took a third place. She, she got a ribbon for a fourth, third place. So they have to exchange the ribbons. Of course, I took the ribbon. I said, Let's, let me just hold the ribbon. If this Mustang is going nuts, a Mustang wild horse that has been domesticated, right? Obviously, they've been riding on it. But And I see her breathing. And this reminds me also of the same situation as I saw my little girl where she was only a few months old, barely walking when, when accidentally Tyson uh, closed the door and get her fingers stuck in between door and we had to run to emergency room. And I was the one that was holding the finger, putting it together for the stitches, right? But I see her breathing. She's totally going in and out, sitting on the horse, looking at me, right? But I still cannot come to her. Remember, it's like it's the arena. I can't just step in. She's on the same horse. They take a walk. The walk. The horse walks. The hooks. The horse is totally calm. I hold the ribbon. Then the end. They. 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 Then the jury start talking and saying how brave and how amazing Ivanka was. There was obviously an applause, and people were cheering because there was some parents of other kids. And they gave her a special ribbon. They gave her a special ribbon for being super brave and having a full control of the horse. Because, guys, on the video, this will never show the same exact situation what was going on there. Video will never reveal the exact thing that happened. It, it, it was crazy. What I've seen, it was just nuts for me. I still don't know. We still don't know how she did that, but... Here comes the thing. Well, we know how she did it because I asked her the question. We had a very deep conversations after. And 
after her receiving two ribbons. So not only she got one ribbon for the first place, she got that special ribbon, she got the award. But the most important thing was the story that is coming right after, right? So as we had a talk, she said to me, I wasn't scared. My only thought was to stay on this horse, to stay on the saddle. I said, you didn't? I said, everything was blurry, she said. It was so fast. I don't even remember these things. I didn't even hear people saying to me, drop the ribbon. She, did, she said, I didn't hear anything. My only thought was to stay on the saddle and not fall off the horse. That was one thing what she said to me. Stay tuned because more lessons is coming. This is just a story about the horse and the ride. She also told me, mom, you told me so many times that you need to believe in yourself, that you need to believe in your ca the capabilities of figuring things out, that you need to have a trust in you and your skills and, and, and just being, being full of trust, believe, stay, being full of belief. This was like, really, this like, <laughs> what she said, that seven-year-old, she told me, I, I was like really questioning myself if she's really seven years old uh, by saying all these things. She said, you know, we always listen to these motivational things and all these things. And I always listen that belief in your side, belief in yourself. You need to have self-belief. You need to be self-reliant. You need to trust in yourself. And that's what I did. I don't think this was luck. Maybe it was. She said a little bit. But really, they were my skills. Because here comes the thing. Not to brag about it, guys. Other people, would. they were saying that this was, this was a wild ride. That normally a, a rider would fall off that horse. Okay? And she controlled this, she controlled the animal, but more of she controlled herself. She didn't freak out. She was calm and steady. She was flawless. She was just not panicking, not overreacting. She was just on that saddle, okay? This was like, <laughs> I tell you, this was something mind-blowing for me. And... Here comes the thing that there were just the points that she said, but the most important thing came after. She asked me, where's the next show? So look, the transformation from her not wanting to do this, being really timid and afraid and shy. The first stage was when she was in the soccer. Then this. She... She took this crazy story and turned into a really heroic story. Like, she didn't take it, oh, my God, this happened. It should never happen to me. Yes, it should never happen. But we took, and she took herself because I, I could have explained it to her so many times. And you know how people given up. Like, you can relate to, to so many things in your life. Like, things happen drastically and you give up and you never go back. You never look at the things that you did, right? What were the mistakes? What were the setbacks? What were the failures? You just quit. She obviously took the story of this crazy, almost unwanted situation that happened into winning situation, right? That she, she stayed on the horse. She, she won, she won more than just the trophy, right? She overcame the fear of being in a horse show, overcame the fear of stepping up into arena, of uh, people judging her. It, it's, it's not about this in life. And all of us, so many people have so many fears of what if people say things or no, if somebody will judge you, right? Like she... He did that. And that's what I want to point it out today, guys, in the in this whole session about the self-belief, how setbacks and failures can pave your way to success. There are so many stories that you can happen and you're not necessarily given up, but maybe maybe you put it on hold. 
some people put things on hold, right? They stop and then they go back to it. Maybe it's time to refresh this in your memory. Maybe it's time to look back and, and learn from these mistakes that were given. We were studying everything, what she's done, what she's done good, what she's using observation of her. And the work has to come from you as well. So today, what I wanted to, what I wanted to tell you is to rewrite your story. Like, think about this story. There could be two people looking at this story two different ways. There could be a one person that would say, what an amazing story, congratulations, staying on a horse, and depends on the really pe person's view and capabilities of seeing how the life is. And then the other person would be more like, this should never happen. Maybe you should blame the people. Maybe what's wrong with the horse, you know? Like, it could have been both ways, different, different, the same situation, but because people look at things different way, the optimistic or the pessimistic way. So if we look into this situation in a very optimistic way, thank you guys for joining. I see you guys. I see you. Uh, think like we can take every single negative situation like this horse should never run like this with her. For God's sake, it should never done this, but it did. She proved her skills. She proved so much. And that's what you can do. So the failures that you had in your life are pretty much proof of something significant and big that you probably missed on. I'm sure that you missed. So she didn't get discouraged. She didn't show weakness. She didn't stumble like upon the obstacle. It was a huge obstacle. Let, she let the courage to be her guide. That's what she did. And I know that you can do the same. Right? So now other very important thing comes from this story that if she would hold that ribbon, I don't know how long she would be really able to control the situation. So in life, in your setbacks, in your failures, in things that you try and do, it comes an experimentation. And I know that you know this, but sometimes you forget that we should be doing this. So you might come upon the same subject and you're going to try in 10 different ways. And I'm going to lead to this in a second. Okay. So experimenting, like she dropped the ribbon, then the horse stopped. If she didn't drop the ribbon, the horse wouldn't stop, right? So experimentation is a part of the process of really paving your ways to success and rewriting your story. So we never know. We can't predict the future. We don't know how the situation might be. You, you, you can't predict the future. Yet what you can do is to develop that internal trust that I will figure things out and have that strong belief, almost like a, uh, something that it's feeding, you're feeding on, that energy. That's at least what I get. And I always, and I think it's the stubbornness comes from it too. It's being stubborn in certain ways. Sometimes the stubbornness <laughs> might not necessarily be so good in certain situations, but can also help you because you wanted to do it so bad, right? And will not get discouraged. And that you will maintain the journey, that you will continue the march, in your path, on your path, no matter what's happening, no matter what people say, no matter what's the outside situation, you're going to be marching on your path. And that's what I want to tell you guys. Because, look, even, even in the weight loss, in the weight loss journey, this is exactly the same thing. Like, think about it. You're excited. You wanted to do something. You wanted to lose the weight. You want to get fit and healthy. And then there is the end of the world of the whole journey when you are fit and healthy, right? You are. So you starting, there is a starting point and there is a somewhere finishing point. I'm going to go like this because now everybody will be able to see me. This gap in between start and finish is the frustration zone. Do you get me? Because this is the journey. And the journey brings ups and downs. The journey brings um, 
unfolded situations, you don't know what it is. So think about it. You're going to be losing weight. Then you might gain a little bit. Then you might off the track. And and if you don't accept this journey, if you're not going to honor the struggle, there is something hard, you're going to quit no matter what you're going to do. And this is all in life is all about quitting. Like why we quit? This is your life. I mean, if you know that there is absolutely no solution to the problem, you tried all the sources and experimentation, you took the good out of the bad and it's still not working. I, I get it. There are certain ways, certain times that we definitely should quit certain things. Absolutely. There are certain things that you should not even con- not even start. But I'm talking about something good for you. If you're looking for a health and wellness. So, if you would only understand that this gap, it can bring ups and downs. It's not going to always beautiful and colorful and bright pink. Love that color. Maybe yours is different. Maybe you want you like black. I don't know. Maybe you like the green like behind me. Well, some of you see it. Tyson dog is behind me on that green grass. Love green. I don't know. It, it doesn't matter, right? What color it is. But this gap will cause you frustration, disappointment, resentment, doubt. And if doubt is there, if doubt is there, now think about it, what would happen with her if she let the doubt and think that the next horse will do the same thing to her. She would never get on the horse again. She would not even ask me when is the next show. I can't believe it. She keeps on asking me every single day. Reminding me, can you please ask them when is the next show I want to take the part with it? I'm like, just blown away. Just blown away. Um, Pain. Pain is there because you let it. So let it go. Stop overthinking. Take this as a part of a journey that this is a learning process. And just see the color for future in front of you just 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 stay on that journey if your goal is weight loss because you're gonna be hopping for life up and down with no matter what you're gonna do remember how you do one thing is how you do everything and that's how your life will be it will be just waves and, and and quits and disappointments and what's the worst thing is that you 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 quit and then you're gonna get even more disappointed because then you're angry with yourself that you again you didn't continue so just accept it you will have to figure things out and there is always a way hiring a coach hiring a mentor i always tell you guys this and we always say this you need to have someone that holds you accountable either one-on-one coach that will hold you accountable like me you can send me a message and we can get on the phone and I will and we'll will design the, the exactly program for you or you can have a group accountability coaching which is totally different of course involves in fitness because fitness as we know it's the foundation right so this is very very significant so Today, I challenge you guys. Today, I challenge you to write your story. Look at something that happened in your life. Maybe it was weight loss. Maybe you quit so many times because it never hit you. You've been in the frustration, disappointment gap. You've been always doubting yourself. And if you doubt yourself, then you pretty much start avoiding the subject. You probably have been avoiding. Some of you will come on this, watch this video, and never went back on because truth sometimes hurts and i'm sorry to be bold like this but you need that and real coach will tell you this so either you like it or you don't if you're gonna have a soft coach you're gonna have soft results got it so with this said guys i'm challenging you today look at your story stop being stop being a victim of your story you can make it you can lose the weight you can become better you can create whatever you want in life Number one, study those setbacks that will pave the road to success because that's what we did. We really look at this, the whole situation. Be your own constructive critic. Somebody can help you, but then also it's like, okay, look at the day. That's why we're journaling. We're looking, you know, into gratitude every single day, every single night and like, okay, what did I F up today? What was the bad thing? And you know what? Uh, 
even if I did, I'm a human. I'm allow my, I'm allowing myself mistakes. Guys, allow yourself mistakes. Stop. It's it's be your own critic, but allow mistakes and say, okay, let's try not to repeat that. Let's be a little bit better. But you need to have a critique eye on your life. Three, stop blaming the luck. Was that luck in that situation? There is always maybe a little luck, but the rest is your hard work, guys. Luck in weight loss, there is no luck. You know what's weight loss? You know what's looking good and and, and feeling amazing is? It's, it's consistency, having habits down to the Z, just doing the same thing over and over. And so many people will ask me till today a question. How are you not bored? I said, I eat different meals every day. I use different spices. But I use different flavors, but everything is organized. So what did I choose? choose I, should I choose being overweight and look bad? Or should I choose my scheduled life and being in control of things that I can control? Which one are you going to choose? So it's up to you. You have a choice, guys. You have a choice. Now, be persistent. Be persistent, but also use the experiment. So... Other words, like think about your weight loss or maybe something else. Maybe you're starting a business. There are, there are obviously, you have to have systems and, and tools down and uh, certain things. But even with us running a uh, seven-figure peak physique, we always would experiment. We would experiment with the promotions. We would experiment with a lot of things, see what works, what doesn't. So with weight loss, if you've been doing something for a long time, and you just stuck with it and you never try something different, you might never get results. Experimenting, seeing, looking, comparing, and finding that one thing that worked for you because there is something like this, guys. And remember, number five, that you can find good in every situation. You can find good. There is always something good, like in the horse show, you know? My heart stopped at that, but then I was just my, I couldn't, I, I didn't think even for a second, how could this horse just do this to her? It just didn't, it, it, I guess it doesn't go these spots in my brain, but I was just like amazed by her abilities. And I don't let myself, this be, be a significant part in our decisions making later on in life, you know? So it's the same for you. Find the good. And today, look at your story. Maybe you totally looked at your story in a wrong, pessimistic light. And that's why you totally given up. You stop. You quit on yourself. So today I'm challenging you. Look at it. Go back to it. And start all over again. Maybe it's a weight loss journey. Maybe it's starting your business. Maybe it's something else. It's it, You will know it the best. But me as a wellness health, wellness life coach, I will always tell you this, that everything starts with the foundation on, of health. Health. You need to have your nutrition down. You have to before you're going to move forward and do other things because uh, – that I don't know any successful person that, I, I mean, I've known successful people that build tremendous wealth, but then they were unhealthy at the same time. So they run themselves so down and in, in such an unhealthy way. And there are many people like this, but to live a really happy and fulfilled life, right? It's, it's when you have these foundations down, and that's very important. So you need to have this down. Once you have it down, there is the sense of building anything, right? Because if you if you are a parent, if you have kids, obviously you live for your for you, you have to be healthy to stay for them in life. And that's that's the key. So make sure you do that. Anyway, guys. Again, summarizing, remember, every difficult situation has its totally vanquished moments and can reveal unbeatable strengths, even if for a second, feel scary and wanted. So take the obstacles and urge situations as blessings and feel really grateful for them, as I'm sure you missed some significant points being shown to you. Thank you guys for joining. I see you all there. 
Thank you so much. I love the participation of you guys. So yes, again, if you if you need a coach, a guide, a mentor, I am the person for you. Please send me a message. Send a message here on the YouTube channel. You can contact me directly and we will get on the phone and talk and we will really design the life that you truly want. I will talk to you, everybody, later and soon. See you next week. Have a no excuses rest of the week.